The big ticket item of this summer's special session is sparking plenty of conversation tonight at its first public hearing in front of the Unicameral's Revenue Committee. That started at 9.30 this morning and is still going on. So we wanted to see what some people were saying. 1011's John Grinvald sat in on that hearing and has the story. With a special session record of 81 bills and 24 constitutional amendments introduced, it's one for the history books. But today, most of the Capitol's attention was on one bill in particular, LB1. It's the governor's plan to take a hammer to property tax bills. Next in the, the Revenue problem. Committee today, <coughs> folks were prepared for a marathon. <laughs> Some wielded charts and graphs, others passion and emotion, decrying the burden of property tax bills. That's why I'm here today, because my wife wants our four sons and our 11 grandchildren who live 10 minutes from us to stay 10 minutes from us. Over hours of testimony, business leaders and everyday Nebraskans pried open the dense, almost 150 page bill. Rachel Gibson says property taxes are an issue, but she says a shift onto sales taxes won't help her. This bill, just the repairs on our car would be $600, and that's, it's, it's a lot. There has to be a way to find something that's equitable. Pillen, speaking first, underscored the reason for the special session. I'm here because of the seniors that have raised their families, educated their children, and now the house they paid for, they're being forced out of it. Pillen's plan looks to increase so-called sin taxes on things like candy, spirits, and cigarettes, and remove more than 100 sales tax exemptions, including those on ag and industrial inputs. That has champions of Nebraska commerce concerned. I think you've got a commitment from, from everyone behind me. Everybody wants to come together to put this together. I think all we're saying is this is not the right proposal because it taxes things that are not going to help us grow the economy. And there's still plenty of work to do in the Revenue Committee. With the sheer volume of bills, they're scheduled to have a public hearing on Saturday. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvalds, 1011.